So, uh, Billy Waters, welcome back to Cheltenham Town. Joining the club on loan until the end of the season. How do you feel about rejoining the club? No, I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, feels really good to be back. Um, seems like not a lot's changed, but at the same time, a lot has. So, no, I'm just absolutely. Yeah, I can't wait to get going again. Um, feels like a, you know, a sense of like coming home when I drove into Cheltenham this morning. Uh, got a little bit of a buzz back in the stomach and that. So, no, I can't wait to get going. So your talents last here, last, uh, here last time got you that move to Northampton, of course. Do you feel like an even better player than the one who moved on from the first time? Yeah, I've learnt a lot. Um, Experience-wise, obviously, it's been a year and a half. Um, I've gone through lots and of ups and downs since then. Um, so, yeah, in a sense of growing up, I have. Um, I've definitely matured. Um, in terms of playing, though, um, I like to think that I've still got the the raw fundamentals of what I was before um, so hopefully I can show the fans that I'm still still got it yeah how much of a role has this club played in your career so far would you say oh the biggest by far um, you know like I said it feels like home um, you know there was a uh, other interest but when this one come up I just thought came up sorry when this one came up I just thought yeah that's the one like I said I got a bit a few butterflies in the stomach and that and uh yeah, no, really nice to be back. And when that interest did happen, you know, how did it all come about? How did you get told and, and what was your, your feelings when it did happen? Uh, I spoke to Ross um, and then um, my agent uh, rang me and just said, you know, Cheltenham interested uh, amongst a few other clubs. Um, but it was always Cheltenham. That was my, you know, my priority. And um, then it was literally yesterday um, I was staying at Dan Holman, um, ex-Cheltenham and uh, his wife Becky and uh, staying been staying at their house in Northampton, and um, I literally got the t got the call about must have been about five ish, um, mm. saying you need to get to Cheltenham tomorrow. So I was just delighted. It happened so quickly in football, it's it's crazy. So I knew the call could come at any point. So I'm just uh, really happy that it came yesterday. Yeah, and you trained with the boys for the first time this morning. How how did you find that? Of course, Michael Duff being the manager here now. Yeah, no, it was really good. Um, uh, a good Friday session. Um, obviously, it's only the first day, so um, no, I'm really looking forward to to seeing what it's all about. Um, obviously, I've heard very good things about the gaffer here, and um, you know, Russ and um, Tim spoke highly of him. Um, and I spoke to no, I haven't really. The only player that still sort of here is Boyley and Reese and Lloydie and Matty Bauer. So mm. it's. It's a new squad, so I look forward to, to get to know the boys as well. Yeah, so lots of great memories, obviously, from when you were here last time, but for you, actually, you know, as, as much as great as that was, it's yeah. all about the future, isn't it, and what's going to happen in the months ahead? Yeah, absolutely. No, like, I can't look back and uh, on what was. You know, it's a, a new era now, um, and I'm looking forward to, to being a part of that new era. You know, I've, I've seen the results. I've seen how well the boys are playing um, in terms of the results, the results they're picking up, the form that they're in. Um, so I know, I, you know, I know some of the names in the squad as well. I know there's a lot of talent in the dressing room. So, you know, it's like the gaff said today: is competition for places now. Um, and so, you know, I'm looking forward to, to being in that environment, where fight for a place, um, but being considered as well. It's nice. I'm sure the supporters are thrilled to see you back. Are you looking forward to getting back at the Johnny Rock Stadium, of course, against Tranmere tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. To be fair, I sort of um, took a detour on my, on my route in just to, to drive past uh, Johnny Rock Stadium and Warden Road, as I like to call it. But um, no, it was brilliant to see it again and, uh, and can't wait to get back there tomorrow.